Lincoln, it's time to get loud. I want to hear you say it with me. This is Monster Jam! First up is the JCB Racing Competition. All eight drivers have been seated to the bracket based on a random draw. We'll start with eight down to four till we get to the final two and get the first eight points of the afternoon towards the overall event championship. So Lincoln, this is it. We're live around the world on YouTube. Who's ready for JCB Racing? First up, it's MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. And his opponent, it's Cody Socie in Gravedigger. This is a first time matchup in 2024. This has never happened in Monster Jam history. MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco taking on Cody Socie in Gravedigger. Let's go racing! The winner is Cody Socie in Gravedigger. One matchup down, three to go. Coming up next, it's Berto Trevino and Monster Mont Rottweiler. And his opponent, it's Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. These two drivers have raced each other seven times in 2024. With Devin Winfield and Velociraptor having six of those victories, and Monster Mont Rottweiler, Berto Trevino only having one. But Bertel Trevino got that victory last night here inside the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Now, which one's going to go to the semifinals? They both want a racing win bed. Let's go racing! The winner is Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. It is now time for our third matchup at JCB Racing. Please welcome Tony Oaks in Thunder Roras. And on the other side of the track, it's Ashley Sanford Megalodon. Eleven times these two drivers have raced in 2024 here in the racing competition. Who's going to move on? Let's find out. Done. 
Last match over round number one. Please welcome Joe Yuri and Earthshaker. And on the other side of the track, it's Dalton Whitener in Jurassic Attack. Only two times these two have raced each other in 2024. It's all Weiner's drastic attack has both of those victories. He's been unstoppable at JCB Racing. Can he keep the streak going? Let's find out. We're going to have to go to the super glue, glue to the action replay. Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack, coming off the starting line. He had some issues. It looked like he had some rear steer issues. Now he had to make up ground. Did he make it up enough? Oh, my. With the upset of the day, your winner is Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. We're going to take a look at the video board right now and see our racing bracket here as we're getting ready to go into the semifinals. Now, this was an upset. Joe Yuri and Urge Shaker took out Dalton Weiner and Jurassic Attack. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon will be his opponent. And then the match will see second. Cody Soucier in Gravedigger taking out Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Another first time matchup happening here this afternoon inside the Pinnacle Bank Arena. This is the JCB Racing semifinal round. The four fastest drivers have advanced to this round, and the two winners will advance to the finals round to try to claim those first eight points of today's event and get one step closer to that BKT overall event championship trophy. So, Link and I want to know. Who's ready for more JCB Racing? We're now getting ready for our semifinals. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon pulling out to the starting line. These two drivers have raced each other twice here in 2024. And Ashley Sanford and Megalodon has both of those victories. Who could go to the JCB Racing finals here? Will it be Joe Yuri and Earthshaker or Ashley Sanford? in Megalodon. These trucks are getting fired and brought to the starting line. Only one can get the first eight points of the afternoon. Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. <laughs> Ashley Sanford and Megalodon will move on to the JCB Racing Finals, and then we have our second semifinal matchup that's getting ready to hit the Monster Jam track which will be Cody Saussier in Gravedigger taking on Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. And it's funny, during the Monster Jam pit party earlier, I was actually talking with Devin Winfield here in Velociraptor before we actually came out to the competitions here today. And he's like, man, all I want to do is go up to the starting line against Cody Saussier in Gravedigger. Well, guess what? He's got his wish. And he's going to line up against them here in the JCB Racing Semifinals. And Devin Winfield just wants a racing win so bad. He has not gotten a racing win since Tacoma, Washington, which was the second weekend of January where he took out Gravedigger in the racing finals here with J in JCB Racing. Now, let's take a look on the video board here. We're going to see our starting lights here. The red and green lights and then our amber lights. That is how our trucks are known. They are staged and ready to go. Grave Digger has hit the Monster Jam track. We have one more truck to hit the track, which will be Devin Winfield in Velociraptor.
So Cody Saucier and Gravedigger has hit the track. Now Devin Winfield, the Velociraptor, they only have so much time before he's gonna get out here and he is on the track. Second semifinal matchup for the first time ever. Cody Saucier, Gravedigger, Devin Winfield, the Velociraptor. Who's gonna move on to the JCB Racing Finals? Let's get them to the starting line. Let's go racing! Looks like there might have been delay on the staging light. We will. The downstage light did not go green for Cody Sousia in Gravedigger. So we will restage our Monster Jam trucks. We want this to be a fair race. Only Devin Winfield of Velociraptor's light went green. Both trucks will restage. Let's go green! We're gonna go to the super glue, glue to the action replay. They were neck and neck in the second turn. Final turn coming around. Man, Cody Saucier with the huge advantage. It's no question. Your winner is Cody Saucier in Gravedigger. It's time for the JCB Racing Finals. The winner of the race will earn the first eight points of the event and will take over the number one spot on the BKT Overall Event Championship Leaderboard. Lincoln, are you ready to meet your Racing Finals contenders? Let's meet a first up from Costa Mesa, California. It's Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. And out of the side of the track from Lafayette, Louisiana, it's Cody Soucier in Cream Digger. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon is looking for her first racing final win of 2024, while Cody Soucier in Grave Digger has had six of them driving Dragon. Who's gonna win? It's showtime! <laughs> That'll be win number seven for Cody Saucier in Gravedigger in this competition. A very nice job. He still got across the finish line first, even though it was a disqualification for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. But your winner is Cody Saucier in Gravedigger. Win number seven, he looks very comfortable in that truck. 
Let's hear it one more time. Link in for Cody Socie in Grave Digger. Congratulations, Cody Socie and Grave Digger, securing the first win of today's event with racing your seventh racing win of the 2024 season. Cody, Matt just said it, but it looks like you are quite comfortable behind that Grave Digger wheel now. I'm way comfortable in this old girl now. Lincoln, I just won my first fight around an old Grave Digger, and I couldn't have a better opponent than a top fuel dragster, Ashley Sanford. Man, she races top fuel. Can you believe that? We're out here living a dream. I got a phone call from Dennis Anderson. He says, lay it in the ground for the Lincoln fans. I can't thank you guys enough. The pit party was awesome, man. I've driven a lot of trucks in my career, and you guys acknowledge that, and I thank you guys. Now, Cody, for all these fans that are so excited about all the other skills that you're looking forward to showing off here today, what can they expect out of you for the upcoming Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge? Great Clips Two Wheel Skills, what if you do a good job and you get a free haircut or something like that at Great Clips? Hey, we got four big old BKT tires. You didn't tell me you only got to have two. It sounds like a party. What do you guys think? Let's go! Well, let's check out the video board right now and see where our Monster GM drivers are shaping up here in this competition. Grave Digger has eight points, followed by Megalodon with seven, and Earthshaker and Velociraptor with four. It's still anybody's game as we're going to get ready to go into the next competition, and that will be the Great Clips Two Real Skills Challenge. And for more information on that, I'm going to toss it to Scott Jordan. That's right, it's coming in 2024, and we couldn't be more excited for it to come out. Pre-order it now, and I'm hanging out with a Monster Jam fan that's having a great time. What is your name? Leo. All right, so here's what we're going to do, Leo, okay? We're going to play the Monster Jam Truck and Pals game. So we're going to pull some trucks up on the screen here, okay? I have three Monster Jam trucks for you to choose from. I have El Toro Loco, Grave Digger, or Megalodon. If you could choose one of these trucks to win, which truck do you think it is? Megalodon, all right, he's choosing his truck. Let's see if it's gonna happen. El Toro Loco is ready, Grave Digger is ready, and so is Megalodon. So here we go. And Megalodon's got the lean, and Lincoln, you can choose your winner as well. Get behind your winner. El Toro Loco is now taking the lead. Oh, there goes Grave Digger. Hey, Megalodon got it. Nice job. Great job. But hold on. I can't let you go anywhere yet because since you won, I got to give you something. I have this awesome Earthshaker plushie that you're going to take home courtesy of myself and Monster Jam for winning the Truck and Pals race. Are you ready? But I got to ask you, are you ready for more Monster Jam? Yes. All right. The Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge is up next. Up next is the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. You know the moves, now you need to know how to score. Sarah, the fans are taking over for the rest of the live event that are here inside the Pinnacle Bank Arena. That's right, Matt. The fate of who comes out on top and claims that BKT overall event championship trophy now lies in the hands of you, the fans. So here's how scoring is going to work for the rest of today's competitions. Starting with the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge, again in the donut competition, and last but not least, in freestyle. 
So scoring is going to work by going to judgeszone.com. You're going to enter the code today, L-I-N, and press submit. You're then going to see a BKT tire pop up in the middle of that screen. Use your finger to slide that tire up or down to the score that you think that driver deserves. When those ribbon boards turn red, you're only going to have 20 seconds to get that score in, and our drivers are, are depending on you to score them accurately and fairly. So keep those phones out and ready. Lincoln, who's ready for the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge? Let's get it started with MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. The he's been paused. He still has one more attempt remaining. Our safety officials are checking to make sure he's still safe and able to continue. But that's unfortunately going to be it. Let's give it up for MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. He's not going to be able to continue his run. So get your scores locked in. Seems like there's a part on that Monster GM truck that is broke. Sarah will get the behind the scenes report and let us know what the problem is with MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. But his first move was great. Let's take a look at the super glue glue to the action replay up on the nose, walks it up the pod, and a very nice job, just that balance by MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. He's gonna set that bar and set the score to beat. Your scores are locked in, and let's check it out. It's a 7.397, that will be your score to beat. Let's continue on, coming up next, it's Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Bruno Trevino. Making that dog bag for bones. Give it up for Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Call him the combo kid, Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a nice sky wheelie. It's a little bit of a slap wheelie up on the nose. It brought it back down on that second move. Then that first attempt was a, just a nice nose wheelie. A very nice shot by Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Hit some of the biggest air we've seen all season that happened right here inside this arena last night in the Pinnacle Bank Arena during freestyle. So I know he's excited to get to that competition later. 
Now your scores are locked in up on the nose right there. That was a great move. Your scores are locked. Your score to beat is El Toro Loco with a 7.397. Now the score for Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler is 7.732, your new leader and new score to beat. Coming up next, it's Tony Oaks in Thunder Roras. Scoring is open for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars. Make some noise. Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars. The first attempt where he had it on the nose. He walked it up the pot. And then he slammed it in the first gear and accelerated it out into a wheelie. And then the second attempt, he was up on the nose. Finally got it to balance up. Walked it across. And then just right at the end, the truck turned on its side. Tough break for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars. But still, two great attempts here. In the Great Clips, two wheel skills challenged by Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars. Now, here in the competition, your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a 7.732. And the score for Thunder Roars is your new leader and new score to beat with an 8.893. Coming up next, it's Delton Widener in Jurassic Attack.
He's got the steering wheel out the window. Showing off his balancing act out there on the track. Give it up for Dalton Widener. Drastic attack with that steering wheel out the window. He had the steering wheel out the front window. Dalton Widener, drastic attack, detaching on the front. A very nice job. Here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Let him cook out here on the Monster Jam track. And that's exactly what he was doing. Your score to beat. In this competition, it's Thunder Roars with an 8.893. The score for Jurassic Attack is 8.189. That'll currently put him in second place. Fans, let's take a look up at our Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge leaderboard to see just how the first half of this competition is stacking up. Currently in fourth place, we've got MJ Slorio, El Toro Loco. Then we've got Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. You just saw him take over that second place spot. That was Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. And currently in first place, that's Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris with your score to beat of an 8.893. Coming up next, it's Cody Socie in Grave Digger. to the bone and making that Grave Digger truck bounce across the pod. Give it up for Cody Socie and Grave Digger and get your scores locked in. The bouncy Grave Digger, your score to beat is, is Thunder Roris with an 8.893. The score for Cody Socie and Grave Digger is 8.862 by .31 second place here in the competition. Coming up next, it's Ashley Samford Megalodon. for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon and get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. Very nice run by Ashley Sanford. The nice up on the nose and just balanced it, brought it back down. 
And then the second attempt was a nice sky wheeling. You know, again, nothing wrong with these two moves. These are great moves. But just get them scored in at judgeszone.com. Very nice job by Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Scores are locked in. And we're going to go straight to it. 6.172 for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. We're going to shake things off. Coming up next, it's Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. Your score to beat, remember, is still Thunder Roars with an 8.893 here in this competition. And Joe Yuri and Earthshaker is ready to come out of the track and dominate here in the two-wheel skills challenge. He's had some great runs this year. We'll see what he can do right now on the Monster Jam track. Let's hear it for Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. Joe Yuri and Earthshaker, that first attempt up on the nose, walking it across the pod and bringing it back down. A second attempt, just a nice popper, popping it up and sending it back down. Again, two great moves. Is it going to win the competition? Probably not, but there's still really great moves here in the Great Cliffs Two Wheel Skills Challenge. So we'll see what you fans thought of his run because it still could put him in the top three spot. Scores are locked in. Let's check it out. It's a 6.825 for Earthshaker. Coming out next, it's Velociraptor Devin Winfield. Still has one more attempt remaining. Devin Winfield and Velociraptor here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. We'll see if he's able to refire. Unfortunately, that's going to do it. He's not going to be able to continue. Give it up for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. He's having some truck issues on the Monster Jam track. And one of the things that we noticed was. There was some, uh, looks like something coming out of the back of the Monster Jam truck, some type of liquid out of the truck. So that is why they shut the truck down. And again, he is not able to continue here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. So what will the score be? We're going to have to see what you fans thought of his run. It's a 4.943 for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor, which means your winner is Tony Oaks in Thunder Roras. That is his 20th Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge win of 2024. Not bad.
on Arena Championship Series West. Congratulations, Tony Oaks and Thunder Royce, securing that Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge win. You know, pulling off quite the amount of skills across that entire pod, ultimately rolling over, but getting these fans up and out of their seats, Tony. Hey, that's what it's all about, man. The first one to set your jaw on the floor is the one that gets the high score, and you guys treat me good here in Lincoln every time I come here. Hey, I want to say one thing. My family's watching live at home. We're streaming live on YouTube. I want to say happy Easter. Enjoy Easter dinner there. My girls, my little Tony, happy birthday yesterday, sweetheart. I love you, girls. Brandy, I love you. Hey, I'll be home tomorrow. Now, Tony, we've got the upcoming donut competition here. What do you have in, in store for all these fans that want to see you spin that Thunder Wars around? Hey, I got one rule of thumb when it comes to doing donuts, and that's hold the pedal to the metal till the sparks fly. But up next, we've got these crazy, wild, clinically insane freestyle motocross dirt bike riders. Lincoln, hold on to your butts, because it's about to get hot. We've seen a lot of great action so far. There's still so much more to come, but right now we're going to take a short break with our halftime. During this brief break, make sure you check out the official Monster Jam merchandise stands for all that great gear, including my personal favorite, the 2024 Monster Jam Souvenir Yearbook. We'll be right back with more Monster Jam, but right now it's halftime. Right now, let's take a look at the BKT overall event leaderboard. Cody Sosie and Grave Digger has 15 points, followed by Tony Oaks at Thunder Roars with 10. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon with 9, and so on down the line. Now, it still is anybody's game as we're getting ready to come back to the Monster Jam action with two more competitions. But before we get there, I'm going to throw it down behind the scenes with Sarah. Sarah, you got a lot happening behind the scenes. What's going on? It was definitely an action-packed first half of today's event here in Lincoln, Matt. And so I was able to get back out there in the pits during this halftime and check in with all of our drivers and all of their Monster Jam trucks and see just what was going on. So there's actually quite a few trucks to report on. First and foremost, checking in with Earthshaker, driven by Joe Yuri. He's having a few transmission issues right now. His team is working on it, examining it, trying to diagnose what the issue is and figure out if they can get that truck back out there for the second half of today's event. But they are hopeful, and all of us are hopeful, that Earthshaker will be just fine for the upcoming donut competition. Another truck that I checked in with was MJ Slorio's El Toro Loco. We saw him get shut off for his second attempt for that Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Ends up, it was just, an, it was just a broken hood mount. It was just cosmetic damage. They've, re, they've removed that hood, and El Toro Loco will be able to get out there just fine for the second half of today's event. Another truck I wanted to check in with was Velociraptor, who also wasn't able to get that second attempt in. Turns out that that fluid leakage was just overflow, no damage and Velociraptor and Devin Winfield will be just fine for the second half. And then last but not least, wanted to check in with Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. We saw a pretty heavy roll with that truck in his Great Clips two-wheel skills challenge. Even though he pulled off that win, definitely went through some damage to that truck pulling that off. And so checking in with his team, his crew chief, and all the technicians are busy working on that truck right now. You can actually see the video on the big screen above. They are sawing and working to get a broken down bar removed from that, um, the entire just frame of the truck. And then what they're going to have to do is saw that off and weld on a brand new piece. And so Tony is out there cheering him on. The entire team is busy working, really trying to get that truck welded together for this upcoming second half. Staying hopeful as well that Tony will be able to come back for donuts. Thanks, sir. We really appreciate the update behind the scenes here. And we're going to get ready to come back to the action with Freestyle Motocross. Each of our riders will come out here with four warm-up attempts, then a biz trick competition that you, the fans, will score at judgeszone.com. And then finally, we will see the Monster Jam train. And that's all coming up here with Monster Jam. But before we get there with our freestyle motocross riders, we're going to take a look at first half highlights. It's time for the high fly thrills of freestyle motocross. Well, Sarah and I only have one rule. The louder you cheer, the higher they're going to fly, and the more tricks you're going to see. So, Lincoln, I need to hear you. Let me hear you make some noise.
Lincoln, let me hear you. Keep making some noise as we get ready to meet our FMX riders. Up first from Marietta, California, give it up for Taylor Adams. Next up from Opelousa, Louisiana, it's Wyatt Fontenot. From Phoenix, Arizona, it's Billy Wilson. And from Henrietta, Oklahoma, give it up for Cody Elkins. Lincoln, let's keep showing some love to these FMX riders. Next up is our FMX Best Trick Competition. Each of these riders behind me is gonna have one attempt to throw down their very best trick while flying from one side of the arena to the other. Now when they land on this ramp on this side, you're gonna have 20 seconds to get your scores in at judgeszone.com, just like you were doing for our Monster Jam trucks earlier during the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. So Lincoln, I wanna know who's ready for the FMX Best Trick Competition? I think you're ready, Lincoln. Coming up first, it's Taylor Edits. Taylor Edits will be up first out of Marietta, California. Been riding motocross for over 10 years. See what he's got. Scoring is open for Taylor Eddins out here with a side heart as his best trick. Kicking things off strong for this FMX best trick competition with that side heart attack. Catch a replay up there on the big screen on our super glue replay board. A pretty cool trick if you ask me. Just kicking things off with a full, you know, almost handstand on that FMX bike. So get your scores locked in for Taylor Eddins side heart. Now, what will the score be? Your scores are locked in. We're going to check it out on the video board. 7.466. That is the score to beat. But we're just getting started. Coming up next, it's Wyatt Fontenot. Wyatt Fontenot is up next in the best trick competition. He's out of Louisiana. And he's been riding motocross for over 13. 13 years. Think about that. 13 years he's been riding motocross. Keep your eyes on the track. Here we go. Scoring is open for Wyatt Fontenot with a whip as his best trick. Now talk about a whip here with Wyatt. This man is known for his whip. He's actually placed 
in the X Games Motocross Best Whip competition before, and now all of you fans get to see it here in Lincoln. Catch a replay of that whip on the Superglue replay board above, and get your scores submitted for Wyatt Fontenot and his whip raising the bar here in the FMX Best Trick competition. Score to beat is Taylor Eddins with a 7.466. The score for Wyatt Fontenot is... Great score, it's an 8.725, your new leader and new score to beat. Two down and two to go. Billy Wilson is up next, ready to hit the track from Phoenix, Arizona. He's been riding freestyle motocross for over three years. He was a BMX rider, and now he's a freestyle motocross superstar. Keep your eyes on the track, Monster Jam fans. Here we go. Scoring is open for Billy Wilson with a backflip as his best trick. Wow, a full 360 out there with his FMX bike, but this man is no stranger to adrenaline and daredevil stunts. This man has ridden bulls, he's ridden steers, BMX bikes, and now he's out here conquering the freestyle motocross bikes. So get your scores locked in for Billy Wilson. Score to beat is Wyatt Fontenot with an 8.725. And the score for Billy Wilson is... Wow, 9.353. Your new leader and new score to beat is Billy Wilson, but we're not done yet. One more rider to go. He won last night. It's Cody Elkins. Cody Elkins is up next. Been riding motocross, freestyle motocross for 22 years. Holds world records. Unbelievable. Let's see what he's going to, if he's going to be our winner here this afternoon, like he was last night. Here he comes. Cody Elkins with a backflip with a little additional flair there, adding his own style to the backflip. Now all of you fans have seen all of the tricks, so get your scores locked in for Cody Elkins. Capping things off with a backflip there with his own additional style. Now which trick was the best? That is up to you, the fans, to get those last scores locked in for Cody Elkins. And you tell us, who is the winner now of the FMX Best Trick Competition? Your score to beat is Billy Wilson with a 9.353. The score? for Cody Elkins is probably the highest score I've seen in my, my Monster Jam career with Freestyle Motocross. Your winner is Cody Elkins. Congratulations, Cody Elkins. Being the winner of our FMX Best Trick Competition, we're gonna bring him up here for an interview in just a minute. But first, I wanna know, Lincoln, who wants to see some more Freestyle Motocross? We're going to bring our riders out for what we like to call the famous grand finale of motocross here, and it's the Mantra Jam Train, where these riders are going to jump the ramp back to back to back to back. Who wants to see that Monster Jam train again? All right, here they come, Lincoln. Make some noise for the Monster Jam train! Now, Lincoln, Matt said at the beginning of this competition that the louder you cheer, the higher they fly. So let me hear you make some noise. And who wants to see that Monster Jam train one more time?
second. Let's give it up one last time for our USFMX team. Standing by with Cody Elkins, the winner of today's FMX Best Trick Competition. Congratulations, Cody, your second FMX Best Trick win of the weekend here in Lincoln. Now, man, what was the name? What was the little extra flair that you added there to that backflip? And tell these fans how you pulled it off. Oh, honestly, you know, this is the best crowd we've had all weekend, and you guys had me so fired up. I wanted to do something bigger than I did last night, so I tried something new, and it paid off. Thank you guys so much. It was so cool to watch even, what was that? The, the handstand that you added to that backflip? Uh, just a standard Superman backflip. Um, it's super hard to do because you actually have, have to pull harder for the rotation to spin because once you and your bike separate and you spread your body out, it slows the rotation down. So you gotta do a completely different pull and make sure you're doing it right and then get back on in time to land on the back. Well, I think the fans liked what they saw out there, Cody. Now, Matt mentioned that you have a world record under your name so why don't you tell these fans a little bit about that yeah man uh so i held the guinness world record for the longest moving quad jump and if you look it up on youtube uh you can actually see me jump over four cars that are traveling 30 kilometers an hour with me and i got to come over them faster than them and jump over it and uh you know it's probably one of the scariest days of my life because we knew we were going to break the quad we knew we were going to maybe get hurt but i also knew i was going to bring that record home and luckily we did Yes, you did. And now, fans, you can look him up on YouTube. But remember that this event is also live on YouTube right now. So for all the fans watching at home, thank you so much for tuning in. Because what an incredible trick that you just got to see here from Cody Elkins. Now, Cody, last question for you. What has it been like riding FMX with part of the Monster Jam family all over the country? Oh, it's, for me, 22 years, it's been all over the world. I've, been, I've had the privilege to be on Monster Jam's very first ever international tour. And... Uh, you know, there's so much history with myself and Monster Jam. Uh, you know, it's crazy. I've been in with Monster Jam more than a lot of the guys that work for Monster Jam are alive, you know. And so that part's pretty crazy, but it's, it's a dream come true, you know. I was just like you kids sitting in the stands watching, wanting to be a part of this show. And, uh, you know, I actually went to school here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and was riding for Star City Motorsports. And, uh, you know... It's because of guys like that that helped me pursue my dream and chase my dream. And as long as I never gave up, I work hard enough for it, I get to live it. And I've been living it for 22 years, you know, and I can't think of a better life. And being part of the Monster Jam family and everybody that's here on this floor and behind the scenes helping out, it's awesome. Out here living his dream. Give it up one more time. Cody Elkins, the winner of today's FMX Best Trick Competition. Let's take a look at the BKT overall event leaderboard right now. Great Digger has 15 points. Followed by Tony Oaks at Thunder Roars with 10. Megalodon with 9. And Jurassic Attack with 8. It's still anybody's game as we're getting ready to come back to the next competition, which will be the donut competition. Now, each driver will have one attempt at their best donut. You're going to look for speed of rotations, the number of revolutions, how creative they got, the length of the attempt, and, of course, that wow factor. Now, here's the thing, Monster GM fans. A lot of these donuts are going to look the same after a while. Some of them may look very similar, so you got to look for key differences. And, again... You can't pick your favorite truck to win. You have to pick based on skill. That's coming up next here in the donut competition with Monster Jam. You know, I've been doing this for about 12 years, and I love meeting all the Monster Jam fans still. And I saw this guy. He was having a great time. What's your name, man? Flynn. All right, here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to play some Monster Jam trivia, okay? But don't worry. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to have everybody here inside the Pinnacle Bank Arena, even on YouTube. They're going to help us out as well. So let's take a look at the video board here, and we're going to see the question that we have picked for you here this afternoon, okay? So it's going to be coming up any moment. There it is. What Monster Jam truck? is known as the black and green wrecking machine. Is it A, Gravedigger, B, Megalodon, C, El Toro Loco, or D, Zombie? On the count of three, Lincoln, I want you to shout your answer. One, 
two, three. What do you think the answer is, man? Grave digger. Grave digger, let's see if you're right. Hey, nice job, it's Grave Digger. Let me get a high five, man, nice job. Now, I can't bring you up here, play some Monster Jam trivia with you and not give you anything for getting it right. This is the Megalodon Storm RC, brought to you by Spin Master. You get this at Target or Walmart, wherever toys are sold, but you can't buy this one because before the event today, I have this signed by all the Monster Jam drivers, including your favorite, you told me, MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco signed this before the event. So you want to take this home with you today? Yeah? All right, well, it's going home with you. Epic Trucks, Epic Stunts, Monster Jam. Get them wherever they are sold. Now, Monster Jam fans, I couldn't let Matt have all the fun over there at the desk. I want everyone here at the Pinnacle Bank Arena to have some fun. So I'm going to have DJ Pat spin the wheel of cams Brought to you by Monster Jam Showdown, the video game, and see just how we can get all of you fans up and out of your seats. What's it gonna be? Maybe air guitar, maybe flex cam, dance cam, my favorite. So you know what that means. It's time to get up and jump around. Great job, Lincoln, here at Monster Jam. That could be on a future episode of Monster Jam TV. Monster Jam on Math TV. And Alpha Media Lincoln Brands, KFOR, KFRX, The Blaze, KX 96.9, Mix 1033, and The Eagle are proud media sponsors of Monster Jam here this afternoon. We thank them for all their help here this weekend. But Lincoln, I want to know, are you ready for the next Monster Jam competition? Next up is the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Each of our Monster Jam drivers is going to have one attempt to throw down their very best donut out there on the track. And you, the fans, are going to be scoring them based on a few pieces of criteria. You're going to be looking for speed, control, creativity, and number of revolutions. So, Lincoln, now I want to know who's ready for Monster Jam Donuts? Let's get it started with Bruno Trevino and Munster Mutt Ruttweiler. Chasing his tail. Give it up for Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. That's a great way to start the Monster GM Donut Competition. Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Some very nice donuts and revolutions. Now, is that enough to get a high score and set that bar really high for our other Monster Jam drivers? 
you let us know at judgeszone.com with Bertos Ravino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. What will the score be? Your scores are locked. It's coming to the video board. It's a 7.199 for Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Let's continue on with Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. shaking things up out there. Make some noise. Joe Yuri in Earthshaker and get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. Now this is where you gotta think, Link. It was that better than the first truck that was out here. Bruno Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler had almost the same number of revolutions. It was pretty much almost the same speed. Again, these are, so you gotta look for some minor differences and get them locked in at judgeszone.com. Your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a 7.199. The score for Earthshaker is your new leader and new score to me is Joe Yuri and Earthshaker. Devin Whitfield and Velociraptor is up next. Raptor. Left front BKT tire off the ground the entire time by Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Might be some of the fastest revolutions we've seen in the afternoon. It looks a little dizzy after that romp, but a nice job by Devin Winfield here in the donut competition. Now, what will you fans score him? Will you score the best run of the afternoon? That is the true question from you, the Monster Jam fans, because it was a great run. By Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Score to beat is Earthshaker with a 7.431. The score for Velociraptor is. There's your new leader and your new score to beat. But we're not done yet. We still have more trucks to go. As we see, Ferdinand Megalodon is ready to hit the track. That shark attack the track in those donuts. Make some noise for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Almost hitting cyclo territory as Ashley Sanford in Megalodon here on the donut competition. Is that enough? That is the question because again, she started in the center and then she moved over, so it's a little bit different as well. A little bit different style, a little bit different flair, and that is done on purpose by our Monster Jam drivers. They can make it so they don't stay centered in the track and they can just move alongside as well. What will the score B for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon, because your score to beat is Velociraptor with an 8.125. The score for Megalodon is... There's your new leader and new score to beat.
Coming up next, it's MG Solario and El Toro Loco. Toro Loco and get your scores locked in. Using the smoke to his advantage is MC, MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco in the donut competition. Some nice revolutions by MJ Solorio, but as a, not enough to be in the top spot. He's got family in the crowd here today, and he's just having a great time out here on the Monster Jam track. MJ Solorio, your score to beat is Megalodon with an 8.385, and the score for El Toro Loco is. Still a good score that'll currently put him in second place. Cody Saucier in Grave Digger is next. Dig those graves for all of his competitors. Give it up for Cody Saucier in Grave Digger. Cody Saucier in Grave Digger with some great Monster Jam donuts. Can it gets really tough for you, Monster Jam fans? Who you think should be your new leader, new score to beat, or in the top three? Because they are great donuts by Cody Saucier. Now, what will the score be? Score to beat is Megalodon with an 8.385. The score for Cody Saucier at Grave Digger is 8.286, currently in second place. Coming up next is Delta Widener in Jurassic Attack. Give it up for Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Steering wheel out the front window. So let's think about that. You start getting those revolutions in, you detach the steering wheel, hanging out the front window, you're literally adjusting the truck at that point, and your brake and your accelerator skills. Your score to beat in this competition is Megalodon with an 8.385. The score for Jurassic Attack is... Your new leader and new score to beat. Now, Monster Jam fans, earlier, Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars rolled over in a Great Clips two-wheel skills challenge. His crew has been working so hard behind the scenes. If you check out the video board right there, they are doing a lot of welding. They had to do some body mount welding and do some 
mounting on the cage to be able to make sure he could get back out here for the next competition. He is on the 60 second clock. You saw it come up on the screen there. He is less than 60 seconds to get out to the track to be able to compete for Monster Jam Donuts. If he does not make it out to the track here, he is not able to compete in this competition. 33 seconds. Adama and the rest of the UNOH technicians have been working really hard to get that truck ready to come back out here. They want nothing more to get it ready. But look who's in the tunnel. Look at the big screen. They have worked on that truck. They got it back out here. Make some noise and welcome Tony Oaks in Thunder Roris. back to the track stronger than ever. Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. Some nice Monster Jam donuts, but besides the donuts, Lincoln, can you make some noise and give it up for all of those technicians in the back that worked on that truck to get it back out here? Score to beat is Jurassic Attack with an 8.800. And the score... For Thunder Roris is 8.600, which means your winner is Delta Widener in Jurassic Attack. Congratulations, Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack, his 10th donut win of the 2024 season. Dalton, I know the first half was probably not what you were hoping for, but wow, talk about the way to start the second half of today's competition. Man, I told you, I'm going to come out with a vengeance after that racing pass. I made a huge mistake, lost in the first round. I hate losing in the first round, and man, it just fuels this fire for me to come out here and burn this dinosaur to the ground. And you're definitely burning that dino down in all those rotations in those donuts, but I want to know what you have in store for all these fans for the upcoming competition that I think most Monster Jam fans come for, the most to get excited about this, talking about Monster Jam Freestyle. You're exactly right. I know that every single one of you sitting in those seats today, you paid your, t your money for your ticket to come here and see Freestyle. I know you did. Everything on the internet, all the highlight clips and everything you see is mostly from Freestyle, and man, I'm going to tell you what. This dinosaur, I almost guarantee you, it's not going to leave the building the same way it came in today. Because I'm going to tell you, the louder you get, the wilder I'll get. So let's have a good time. Woo! There it is right there. The BKT overall event leaderboard. Grave Digger Cody Sosier has 20 points. Tony Oaks and Thunder Horse with 17. Jurassic Attack, Dull Winer with 16. And then Megalodon with 14. It's close. It's still anybody's game as we still have one more competition to go. But before we get there, we're going to have some more fun here inside the arena. What is your name, man? Payton. All right, here's what we're going to do, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to bring up a puzzle, okay? And I'm going to have everybody in the arena help you out. Let's get this puzzle on the screen. And the objective is to name that Monster Jam truck. So here we go. Let's keep an eye on the screen here. And you can shout your answers, Lincoln, when you know it. And Payton, when you think you know it, you let me know too, okay? What was it, Payton? Grave Digger. Grave Digger, it's coming together, and it looks like it could be the black and green wrecking machine, Grave Digger. And it is. It is Grave Digger. Nice job, man. Congratulations. What I have for you here for playing with us here today at Monster Jam, I have this awesome Monster Jam 3x5 flag you're going to take home with you today, courtesy of myself and Monster Jam. Now are you going to No. Are you ready for Monster Jam Freestyle? Yeah. All right. Freestyle is coming up next. We're going to take a look at the video board one more time and check out the criteria here in the competition. And right now, if you look at the criteria, each Monster Jam truck must complete 15 seconds or more to qualify for a score. You want to see them use all the obstacles, creativity, what wow factors, 
technical moves and combinations. Now here's the deal, Monster GM fans. If you see one amazing move and the rest of the run was okay, does that really deserve a high score? No. So make sure you take that all into consideration when you're scoring at judgeszone.com. You want the whole run to be spectacular, not just one specific move here in this competition. Each Monster Jam truck will have 75 seconds to turn in their most spectacular freestyle performance. When they hit 60 seconds, they'll be on the Monster Minute presented by Godzilla and Kong, the new empire in theaters now. Monster Jam fans, it's time to get our freestyle competition started. We ask that you help us out by getting out your phones, turning on your flashlights, and following my lead. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep it going, Lincoln, and stay on the beat. We've reached the pinnacle of today's event. This is Monster Jam Freestyle. is open for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor kicking off freestyle strong. Get those scores locked in. Definitely Sarah kicking freestyle off strong. He hit all the obstacles. He had great momentum for the moment out of the gate, out of the tunnel. A very nice run by Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. So make sure to get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. He's going to set that bar because your scores are locked. So let's check it out. 6.745 for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Coming up next, it's Earthshaker, Joe Yuri.
Joe Urian Earthshaker getting some major air out there. Head to judgeszone.com and get your scores in. Joe Yuri in Earthshaker here in the freestyle competition. It was a good run, but was that the best run we've seen so far? Get your scores locked in. It was a nice run hitting all the obstacles. These guys love hitting that eight pack here on the Monster Jam Pod. Now, what will the score be? Because your score to beat is Velociraptor with a 6.745. The score for Earthshaker is... Your new leader and new score to beat, Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Virgil Trevino is up next. Making that puppy do some tricks. Let's hear it for Bruno Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Nice slap wheelie in the run. It rises up the biggest air of the afternoon as Bruno Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. So get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. Roberto Trevino here in the freestyle competition. Is it enough to be your new leader and your new score to beat? Because your score to beat is Earthshaker. With the 7.016, the score for Monster Mutt Rottweiler is your new leader and new score to me is Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Monster Jam fans, I saw you guys get up out of your seats for the dance cam, and I want to see you get up out of your seats one more time. We're going to bring up the Roar Meter to celebrate Godzilla Kong, the new empire now in theaters. And we're going to see if we can get that Roar Meter broken. So I'm going to need you all to make some noise. Let me hear you roar, Lincoln!
Coming up next is Ashley Sanford in Megaton. Let's give it up for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. She will get a score. Get your scores locked in. She does qualify for a score. Was right at the 60 second mark. So she did complete 15 seconds of her run. That's a tough break for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. It was just a bad bounce towards the end of her run that caused her to have that rollover. But again, tough break. By Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. Let me hear you make some noise, Lincoln. Make some noise. Your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a 7.751. The score for Megalodon is 7.522. That'll currently put her in second place here in Monster Jam Freestyle. Make some noise one more time for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. Fans, let's take a look up at our freestyle competition leaderboard to see how the first half of our freestyle comp is stacking up. Currently in fourth place, we've got Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Then we've got Joe Yuri and Earthshaker, followed by Ashley Sanford and Megalodon, who you just saw out there. And then holding on to that first place spot, we've got Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler with your score to beat of a 7.751. Coming up next here in freestyle, it's MJ Solario and El Toro Loco. They're blowing smoke. Give it up for MJ Slorio and El Toro Loco. Get your scores in. Only second gear in that run. And he was able to give you fans a great freestyle. MJ Slorio and El Toro Loco in the freestyle competition. A very nice job. He filled the clock 
It gave you some great moments. So make sure you're getting your scores locked in. Scored to beat here in the competition is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a 7.751. The score for El Toro Loco is 7.923. Your new leader and new score to beat. Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack is ready to hit the track. Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Now, that was a great freestyle. Is that the best run of the afternoon? You fans, let us know. Great job by Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack. The nose wheelie in the competition, the big air, the great momentum. Never stops having momentum, and that's what you want to see from a freestyle like that with Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Score to beat is El Toro Loco with a 7.923. The score for Jurassic Attack is your new leader and new score to beat. But Lincoln, who's ready for the black and green wrecking machine? Who's ready for Cody Sosie in Grave Tigger?
for the black and green wrecking machine. I'm talking about Cody Saussier in Grave Digger. Los Rios here that towards the end of the run, and he still gave you fans a great freestyle performance. Cody Saussier in Grave Digger. The big air stand of the truck on the back two tires, the reverse wheelie walking it up. This was a great run. Your score to beat is Jurassic Attack with an 8.760. The score for Cody Saussier in Grave Digger is it's across the board, your new leader, and you score to me. Fans, let's take a look up at the board, because it's time to play Helmet Shuffle. I'm going to need you guys to keep your eyes on that trophy, and keep your eyes on it, because you'll let us know which one you think it is. So let's see where it goes. Ready? Whoa. Keep your eyes on it. You think you got it? What do we think it is, Lincoln? Do we think it's number one? Do we think it's number two? Or do we think it's number three? Make some noise if you think it's number one. Make some noise if you think it's number two. Okay, and then make some noise if you think it's number three. All right, seems like everyone thinks it might be number two, so let's check. It's not number one. It's not number three, so Lincoln, you were right. Make some noise, because that trophy was under number two. So, if you've ever wondered how a Monster Jam gets loaded in, if you take a look at the video board right now, this is how it starts. You know, we come in here with nothing on the ground, bringing all these truckloads of dirt. And as the truckloads of dirt are forming, you know, we're starting to build the ramps and take the shape of the Monster Jam track. And it doesn't just, we don't just bring in the dirt, then build the track. We're building it as everything is getting loaded. And if you look at the background too, you can see all the lighting cues are being worked on. You know, the video boards, the plastic that's being hung up. Every single thing is happening almost at the same time to get ready for a Monster Jam competition. And it's pretty incredible when you just see how many man hours it takes. It takes over 25 plus truckloads to get in here inside an arena like this to be able to make a monster jam happen. And then after the event is done, we take the dirt right back out. And then the dirt will stay here while we take and go to another, the next city with monster jam. It's a pretty incredible experience and we can't thank our crew enough. Coming up next, it's Tony Oaks and Thunder RS. Twenty-six seconds on the clock. He will be allowed to refire. With time left on the clock, scoring is open for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. Unfortunately, his truck is broke. He can't continue. He did, the truck did break on the back of that wheelie bar, but that was pretty awesome. Give it up for him, Lincoln. Make some noise. For Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. That was a nice freestyle run, even though he left 26 seconds on the clock, coming around and getting that bounce. Your score to beat is Gravedigger with an 8.888.
The score for Thunder Roris is your winner of Monster Jam Freestyle is Tony Oaks in Thunder Roris. Now that's eight points towards the overall event championship. Is it enough? Seven in freestyle, five in donuts, seven in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge, eight in JCB Racing. A total of 27 points. Your overall event champion in his first time in that truck, it's Cody Socie in Grave Digger. It's not his first overall of the season, but it's his first in the black and green wrecking machine. But this for the season is win number seven for Cody Socie this year part of Monster Jam. Talk about a great job here this afternoon. And then Tony Oaks, once again, congratulations to our freestyle winner. Here he comes down the tunnel, Lincoln makes some noise for Cody Saucier in Grave Digger. Congratulations, Cody Saucier and Grave Digger taking home today's overall event championship trophy. Congratulations, Cody, really leaving it all out here on the track in that freestyle, literally having to get towed off, being able to run back in here and claim this trophy is yours. Absolutely. You know, if I couldn't drive the wheels off of it, I was going to lose all steering, all control, driving by the seat of my pants. I had no rear steer that entire run, so I had to just win it, hope for the best, send it, hit the throttle stop, man. My boy Tony laid down a heck of a run, man. We're just big kids out here living a dream, playing with big old Monster Jam trucks. You know what? We got to say thanks to all you fans. And like the old man then says, thanks for every nut and bolt on that truck and every shingle on our roof. We love Lincoln. Let's go. Congratulations one more time to Cody Socie and Grave Digger, tonight's BKT overall event champion. But a congratulations is also due to Tony Oaks bringing you back out here. Tony, another win under your belt for freestyle. Also leaving it all out there on the track, literally running the body of that truck into the ground and being able to secure that freestyle for your family watching at home. I'm going to tell you what, during the pit parties every single weekend, I get somebody ask me, do you get scared? Okay, that was one of those moments where I got scared when I'm hang timing like this. You know, I was just, you don't know how that truck's going to land, but fortunately it landed okay. We bent the rear bumper all the way up. We couldn't continue. I apologize for that, but that must have been really awesome. Coming out with a surprise freestyle win. All you viewers at home watching us live on YouTube in Lincoln, Nebraska, let me hear you roar. Thank you once again, Lincoln, for watching us and hanging out with us here this afternoon and all you fans joining us live around the world on YouTube. But hey, for you fans that are leaving here in Lincoln or hanging around on YouTube, stick around because Monster Jam in Seattle, Washington Stadium Championship Series West is about to kick off live on YouTube in just a little bit so you can watch that action. On behalf of Phil Entertainment and Monster Jam, we hope you fans had a great time. Thanks to Sarah Plants. My name is Matt Isbell, but Lincoln and YouTube, before I let you go, there's only one more thing I got to say. And that was Monster Jam. We'll see you next time.